Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and are ready to dive into some useful Thai phrases with me. In this episode, we're going to learn about expressions that are very useful in many everyday situations. Must, have to, and should. Whether you're refusing a plastic bag while shopping, telling a cashier to keep the change, or declining persistent invitations from taxi or tuk-tuk drivers, these phrases will come in handy. I will explain these expressions using simple sentences and direct methods, enhancing your language skills with various examples. This episode is divided into two parts. In the first, we will explore the Thai phrases for must and have to, and in the second part, we will look into how to use should in Thai. So, let's get started. In Thai, to say you need to do something, you use. Tong. Tong. This versatile word directly translates to must or have to in English and is used to express obligations or necessities. Its usage is quite simple. Just place it before any verb to indicate a necessity or obligation. This is very similar to how we use must and have to in English. Whenever I tongue tie, I know I must say something. This playful reminder can help you remember that in Thai, when you really need to do something, you use tong, tong. Just like the moment of a tongue tie when you must speak up, tong is your go-to word for expressing necessity or obligation in Thai. For example, if you want to say, I must study, you would say in Thai, Chan tong rian. Chan tong rian. Another example, to express, I have to work on Sunday in Thai, you would say, Chan tong tham ngan wan atit. Chan tong tham ngan wan atit. Here's a detailed explanation of the two components. Tham ngan and wan atit. From the Thai sentence. Tham ngan. To work. Tham. This part of the phrase means to do or to make. It's a versatile verb used in various contexts in Thai to denote the action of creating, performing, or executing something. Ngan. This word means work or job. It refers to any kind of labor, task, or professional occupation. Together, tham ngan combines into the verb phrase to work indicating the action of engaging in professional or laborious activity. It's a direct and straightforward way to express the concept of working in Thai. Wan a thit. Sunday. Wan. This word translates to day. In Thai, wan is commonly used as a prefix to name the days of the week. A thit. This specifically means Sunday. It's part of the system for naming days in Thai, which often has roots in astrological or cultural origins. The full term, Wan A Thit, literally translates to Day of Sunday. It specifies the particular day of the week, making it clear that the events or actions discussed are to take place on Sunday. Another example for the statement, he has to exercise every day in Thai, you can say, เขาต้องออกกำลังกายทุกวันเขาต้องออกกำลังกายทุกวัน In this sentence เขา means he ออกกำลังกาย to exercise ทุกวัน means every day Another example to say you don't have to help them in Thai you would phrase it as คุณไม่ต้องช่วยพวกเขาคุณไม่ต้องช่วยพวกเขาin this example, my negates the necessity, altering the meaning of tong to express that the help is not obligatory. Choi means to help. Puok kao means them. Let me give you another example if you want to say, they have to go to Chiang Mai tomorrow. In Thai, you would say, Puok kao tong bai Chiang Mai prung ni. พวกเขาต้องไปเชียงใหม่พรุ่งนี้. Here's the breakdown of the Thai words in this sentence. พวกเขา. They. 
ไป go พรุ่งนี้ tomorrow Let's move on to expressing to the cashier at the market that we don't need a bag. This time we will use ต้อง in a different context as ต้องการ which means need. If you want to say I don't need a bag and tie, you would say ฉันไม่ต้องการถุงฉันไม่ต้องการถุง If you don't need a ride, you can simply tell taxi or tuk-tuk drivers by saying I don't need. ไม่ต้องการไม่ต้องการ Part 2 In Thai should is expressed with the word ควร This word is used to suggest what is advisable or appropriate in a given situation To use ควร In a sentence you typically place it before the verb Using ควร is quite similar to the use of should in English Where it serves to give advice or make recommendations about what is deemed appropriate under specific circumstances. For example, you should eat more vegetables. In Thai, คุณควรกินผักมากคุณควรกินผักมาก Here's the breakdown of the Thai words: ควร should กิน eat ผัก vegetables มา more. For another example. You should take a rest in Thai. คุณควรพักผ่อนคุณควรพักผ่อน In the sentence, พักผ่อน means take a rest. An important note, พักผ่อน take a rest. พัก This word means rest or pause. It implies stopping an activity to relax or recover energy. พ่อน This means relax or ease. It's often used in contexts where the action is about reducing intensity or taking it easy. Together, p a k p o n suggests a complete activity of resting or relaxing, commonly used to tell someone to take a break or to describe one's own relaxation activities. p a k vegetables. The difference in pronunciation is key here. p a k p o n p a k p o n uses a rising tone for p a k And a high tone for p o n p a k p a k for vegetables uses a high tone. Let's return to our main topic and see how to say should not in Thai, along with an example. In Thai, should not is expressed by adding mai, which means not before. k u n For example, if you want to say you should not smoke. You would say in Thai, คุณไม่ควรสูบบุหรี่คุณไม่ควรสูบบุหรี่ It's important to note that in everyday conversations, you might hear ควรจะ being used. This detail adds a practical aspect to learning the phrase ควรจะ in Thai enhances ควร which means should or ought to, giving it a more definitive or expectant tone. It's like saying "really should" or "definitely ought to" in English, suggesting a stronger recommendation or expectation. For example, to express "you should read more books," using "ควรจะ for a stronger recommendation in Thai, you could say "คุณควรจะอ่านหนังสือมาก,คุณควรจะอ่านหนังสือมาก Here's a breakdown of this phrase: คุณ you อ่าน Read, หนังสือ book, มา more. A common example of using ควรจะ in everyday Thai, คุณควรจะใส่หมวกคุณควรจะใส่หมวก means you really should wear a helmet. ใส่ wear and put หมวก helmet. For our final example today, here's how you would say: Right now, we should help each other. In Thai, would be. ตอนนี้เราควรช่วยเหลือกันตอนนี้เราควรช่วยเหลือกัน Help others who want to learn Thai by making our channel more visible to them, as this is how the YouTube algorithm works. Don't forget to like the video, turn on the notification bell, and send us all your comments. See you in the next video. And take good care of yourselves.